Hi, this is a video review for this first aid kit. It's an 85 piece first aid kit. You may notice I haven't opened it yet. I like to do that on camera sometimes just so that you can see what it looks like before I go ahead and rip into it. Um, first, it's a hard case and it's a small case. Let me get a measurement because that's kind of important. It looks like it'll fit sort of in a glove box of a car. Uh, six and a half inches. Rough measurements, obviously. Five and a half inches. There is a carabiner up here. So you can hook it on whatever you want. And then there's snaps hmm, on the zipper pulls. Or I guess those are just rivets. Not sure. But let's go ahead and rip this puppy open. Okay, so we have the first aid symbol on the front, so we know exactly what this is. This is not a camera. It is a first aid kit. Oh good, there's first aid supplies in there. It would be embarrassing if there wasn't. Um, this says everything that is in here, but let's just actually open it up and see. So first thing I have found is a little pair of scissors. Yeah, kind of rough. Do they close all the way? Yeah, they'll do the trick though, when you need them for bandages and stuff. And they have the rounded edges, which is good if you're cutting off a bandage or something. Uh, vinyl gloves. What else is in here? Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> uh, sting relief prep pad. Hmm. I'm not familiar with what that is. Antiseptic swab. That is a necessity. We have one, two, three of those. Alcohol pad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, I believe, of those. Doubles, same as the other pads. And then we have bandages. Um, we have all of these guys, these bigger ones. I'm going to go ahead and open one up. And I'm going to put one on and leave it on to see if it lasts. And I'll add in the written review if they're a decent quality video. Uh, these are the plasticky. In inexpensive, but... Still sticky. It'll do the job. Definitely not your name brand band-aid, but it'll work. I'm gonna have my daughter put it on. She just hurt her knee at school, so. Um, let's see, a whistle? No, I'm not going to use it right now. My dogs will go nuts. Uh, medical tape. Uh, what else do we have in here? Tweezers, pointy tweezers, plastic pointy tweezers. And finger band-aids. There's quite a few of those, which is good because I feel like, like especially when I'm camping and stuff, that's the thing that I get hurt the most. Two, four, six, eight, ten of those. Um, what is that this is a knuckle band-aid, I believe. There's these little thin band-aids. One, two, three, four, five, and there's how many of those? Three. So there's twenty of those. So that's the first side. Holy cow, let's see what's on the second side. Uh, triangular bandage, so a sling. Sterile pad. Let's put all this out of here. Hopefully all this goes back in as easily as it comes out. One, two. There's two um, non-adherent sterile pads. One, two things of a gauze pad, two by two. One... One three by three gauze. There's two of them in there though, and a four by four, two pieces of gauze. How many of those? Is there two of those? Nope. And then there's a five by nine gauze, and some um, some what is this called? Bandage. Bandage. Okay. And then a basic first aid kit instruction book. So perfect for your car, for your camper. The only thing that it doesn't have that I see a lot of um, first aid kits have is an ice pack. That's always handy. Uh, I don't see one in here. But I mean, holy cow, this thing is jam-packed otherwise. Nice mesh pockets here. This one zips, this one doesn't. Like I said, hard case. And um, I think that's it. So like I said, I, my daughter has a band-aid on. She's showing it to me right now. Band-Aid, and I will um, let you know how that goes, 
and now I gotta try and figure out how to put all this back in here. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will try my best to help you out. I'm going to take this now and fill it back up and put it, I believe, in my glove box. That seems like the best place for it because my kids are always getting hurt when we're on the road. But again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. For now, I hope that this was helpful.